Hi everyone, Flauk here, back for another episode of uh, Minecraft, where uh, last episode we had uh, we had started really working in on uh, these above ground uh, pathways and stuff, and I haven't really done anything since then. Uh, mainly what I've uh, what I want to do this episode is uh, I want to do a woodland mansion. Now uh, I don't know how maps work, so I don't know how to tell which way to go i like because i'm in the bottom left i feel like that means i should go southeast i think that's what that means and the area is an explore oh well that is kind of funny okay well Oh, because I'm... Okay. <laughs> I think it's this way. That is really funny, actually. How that, uh, that worked. Yeah. <sighs> I literally think I could just go this way. We can, uh, we can see all these amazing sights. There's a lot of animals in this area. A savanna. I kind of realized that I didn't really prepare much for this. Like, I didn't grab arrows or anything. <laughs> So, uh, I think, uh, I think we're just gonna have to, uh, just gonna have to make it work. Actually, wait, do I have infinity on my boat? Oh, I do have infinity. And we're fine. Forgot that, uh, I had infinity. Because, uh, in this game you have to, uh, I think it forces you to pick between infinity and mending. And, I mean, one of, one of the things that I do not use in this game is, uh, Oh jeez. Um, I almost never use a bow because if there's an opportunity to use a bow, like, like th there's so few reasons to ever use a bow. I also got a little village here. I know I'm real close to it, so I'll just I'll just take a brief little little stop over here. See if there's anything interesting. Probably, probably not. I don't know. No trades. Man, it's kind of weird with with how all the villager stuff has kind of changed. Like, the villager trade trading is just so much less interesting. That was weird. Like villages, there's kind of no reason to stop at them anymore. I remember in the older versions, you know, you, know, you stop out of village sometimes because you just wanted to check it out and see if there's anything neat in it. But there's virtually never anything interesting in a village anymore. So why would uh, why would I bother stopping at one? Um, where did? I don't have my firework pots. Oh, that sucks. Do I have a gunpowder box or anything? Oh, man. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't, uh, didn't, didn't do that one well. I must have, well, I mean, I, I had to have taken it out for, uh, whatchamacallit, to, to use or something. I just didn't think, I just didn't really think that I would, uh, need it. Oh, there it is. Is it in a jungle biome? Oh, there's, there's the... 
dark forest. Yeah, it's like right at the, uh, kind of weird how, how it is. Okay, I'm going to post a little bed out here. Set my spawn. Should, should probably be fine, I think. One of the very few times I ever, uh, ever wear a chest plate in this game. And I'll, uh, grab a whole bunch of torches. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, I've done very few Woodland Mansions in this game, as, uh, Woodland Mansions are, uh, well, they're, they're extraordinarily rare, obviously. Ooh, melon and pumpkin farms. I don't even, I, I don't need these, I don't know why I'm grabbing them. Why am I grabbing these? I want them, I guess. That's why. That's why I'm grabbing them. I'd, uh, I would really like to try and build something here. As I, uh, I have never really done anything with the Woodland Mansion. Done it one time in the past. Like, I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a, like some weird furnace room. It looks like a decorative build. Oh, okay, there's a lot of guys in there. A weird tree growing. There's a lot of skeletons in here. There's Yeah, like what's what what is the point of this room? Why why does this room exist? Can I, can I get a record? I wonder if I can... Aww. I was hoping that guy's bow would be a little better than what it was. Kinda, kinda ruined this place a little bit, it's fine. Um... Yeah, sure. Using, using my pickaxe. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't get the point of a lot of these rooms. Like, like what's 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 in that room? Why why are we doing that? I saw something. Oh, these are alleys. Oh crap! Wait a minute. Oh, I have never. Can I give? Oh, I can give him an item. How do I get it back? Oh. Wow. These guys are so cool. Oh, look at that. Where'd the third one come from? Were there three in there? Oh, man. I feel bad. I don't know what the allies are going to do. Do they follow me? Yeah, the answer is no. <laughs> they don't. But like, okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do stuff with alleys later. Whoa! I think this is an an invoker statue. Don't have shears, and of course I don't have anything to make shears. I think there's supposed to be something in the middle, right? Like a chest or something. If I think. Hold up, I'll, I'm gonna get shears. Oh, I heard some zombies falling. Oh, there, lap there's lapis? Why is there lapis? I don't know why there's lapis. Alright, it's nothing in there. Anything at the base of this? No. I don't know what the point of that is. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, there's a lot of chests in there. 
He's more allies? No, that's just empty. Um. Hopefully there's stuff in these chests. Oh my god, that's actually so tragic if there's literally nothing. Oh, what a, what a missed opportunity. I feel like I gotta check all of them, because maybe there's a secret. Why? Why would you? Why would you place chests like this? And then not have anything in them. Such a, such a missed opportunity. So very. Oh, just dead ends. Weird stuff. Is there... Okay, it's like a secret room, I guess. Not very secret. Just a crappy... Just a crappy axe. I feel like I... I always feel like... Woodland mansions are these super late game things because they're like kind of challenging, but I feel like they're probably actually meant for earlier in the game than what what it is. Yeah, that's the first floor done. I don't know if these alleys are gonna fly away or something, but I don't know. This it feels like it should be done so much sooner or so much later than what it is, but I, I guess it's supposed to be done later on. That's kind of cool. At dead ends, I'll just light this up. Man, what a what a what a phenomenal window. Man, they were they were thinking with these. It is pretty cool though. The uh the lookout is pretty pretty nice. Let's see. Ooh, big big hallway, big hallway. Um, okay. Nothing in there. A lot of these rooms are empty. Like, oh, like why, why are these rooms so boring? That's up to the third floor. I guess, I guess this, this could be a time for me to talk about stuff. Things that I have. I, I love Minecraft. Minecraft is... One of my favorite games, actually, I actually made a list of my, my top favorite games of all time. This is weird. It's very weird. Um, yeah, I actually made a list of my top favorite games of all time. And um, I placed Minecraft number two. I've played so much Minecraft, you, you have no idea. I've been playing this game for, for going on almost 13 years. Uh, and I, I still continue to love it. I still play this game a lot. But there's there's some issues with this game that I can uh that that I tend to have and uh, a big problem with this game is, is is its update cycle and I've actually thought about making a video on this in the past um but this game's update cycle is really weird because I. I feel like the updates are actually becoming more and more, uh, that are just becoming poorer and poorer. Like, the, the updates aren't as good as they used to be. As, if I were to tally up the updates, I mean, as, as I'm recording this, 1.20 is, uh, relatively close. Um, and... I find my, I find the only thing that I'm actually interested in when it comes to this update is the uh, the 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 cherry trees, which sucks because I don't particularly feel like the cherry trees are even that interesting. I think that's a cool block, but I just don't think it's interesting, and I feel like that's honestly a problem with the game. Their their update cycles are getting real weird, and I feel like they're they're de incentivized from doing cool stuff again. And they're de-incentivized from doing things like adding a, like a new boss or something to the game. How many how many people would love 
to get a new boss, I feel like I feel like the answer is a lot higher than Mojang probably thinks. As like look, look, look at this place. Let's let's say they they could update this place because so far I'm I'm cape walking through here. This is if I did this when it was meant to be done, which I think is pretty early on. But then again, villagers seem pretty late game, don't they? Then I guess this would be interesting, and I'd get some useful items. But w w like, what useful items are there? Like, what's the point of this? Maybe if they added, I don't know, a, a basement section that went into a dungeon. Like an actual dungeon, not like a crappy excuse for a dungeon. I feel like it could be pretty decent then. It's like, even look at this place. I'm, I'm walking around. I, I took a little break to, to mine some coal. Like, it's not, it's not good. It's not good at all. And I'm... Is there, is there another floor? I don't even know if there's another floor to this thing. Is this it? Yeah, when it's all said and done. This is how this is how big the Willow Mansion is. So whatever whatever's on this floor, that's it. It's a little bit of a rant, but I feel like they could do so much better with this game. This game has so much potential, but a lot of it gets used because it gets misused because they, I don't know, they're, they're too scared to do anything. They don't, they don't see this game in the same way that a lot of people see it. They instead would rather... Do things like, uh... I don't know, here's another block. Here's... X and Y elements. And, you know, how, how many years have they said they were going to do the combat update? So, so many. Like, I don't even use a shield. I don't even use my offhand. I can't remember the last time I've used an offhand in this game. Because it's not... There's, there's no reason to. It's... This game has so much wasted potential. And if, if I could if I could make an update, I would honestly make... I would make a, a dungeon update, make a combat update, add, add a couple of more roguelike elements. They're catering to one certain way to play the game right now, which feels weird to say. They're 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 pretty much catering to the, the mega casual portion of the game. This is such a depressing Woodland Mansion, I just gotta say. This Woodland Mansion is so awful, it is insane. I know there's more mobs and stuff than this. Did I did I miss something? I must have missed something. Like, I haven't been in this room. Oh, there's nothing in this room. How do I get in that room? Was there a tell to get into this room? Oh, is it... Is it... Oh, it's behind the face. Ah, that's kind of cool. I I didn't know that actually. But yeah. Even then, look at this. Man, I found this secret that I didn't even know was in here. I got chainmail armor and a couple pieces of gunpowder. And I'm I'm only caring about the gunpowder because I literally need it away home. Uh, I love this game. This game is incredible. It's fun. You play it in so many different ways this they they cater they really do they they cater to one certain way to play the game and they uh yeah that's it's to the the little bit more childish side of the game and i guess i guess in a way the deep dark added some of what we're looking for but not, not really. I'm not even. By the way, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna write down the chords to this thing. This was actually. I'm. Uh, oops. There we go. That's that's all what I needed. That, this was so depressing. This game. I kind of.
kind of a uh, kind of a hope a little bit more out of this game in that regard. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was the wrong pickaxe. You know what? That's that. You know what? That, that's actually an item that I'm actually very very uh, excited for is the the weapon trimming. I'm excited to have a, a mechanism to be able to to tell the difference between my items. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've toyed with the idea of making a video about the very issue that I've kind of brought up, which is the Minecraft update cycle. And I mean, I'll even, I'll bring up one point I have here. Think to the last 10 or 15 updates, which ones have been particularly interesting when you boil down to it? 1.19 was super underwhelming. 1. Uh, 1. 1.18 1.18 was pretty cool i you know the the lush caves like this this is like the big caves this is cool i like this this is actually really cool wow okay this this was a great cave to to talk about the the caving update in but i i i love the caving update but i still i still have issues with it cuz like This, this cave is cool, but this cave is common. This type of thing happens so much. Like, if this were rare, that would be really cool. But it's not rare. This 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 type of cave generation happens all the time. So, like, how, how, how am I supposed to get excited at a cave like this if every cave can look like this? It's... it's kind of weird. Die a zombie. But, um... Uh, yeah, it's just... It, it's really hard to... It's really hard to get excited at this... At a lot of things in this game. When... They, uh... When they're all the same. I still really don't like these caves. It's cool, I guess. Why are you shooting so fast? Man, I'm dying over here. Um, but like 1.18, cool, I guess. What was 1.17 again? Like it's so it's so unmemorable. 1.17. I can't remember what 1.17 was. Like, that's how unmemorable it was. 1.16, the nether update. When you boil down the nether update, nether update, cool. When you boil down what's in the nether update, it's really not that interesting. Like, what's different about it? The nether is still the same. I guess you added a couple new blocks, but you were going to do that anyway. Nether isn't better to explore. I guess Piglin Trading added an interesting element. 1.15, Village and Pillage. Village and pillage update, in my opinion, is great. Village and pillage was fifteen. In in my opinion, it was one of the worst updates that the game's ever had. It literally broke the game, it, and they still haven't recovered from it. It made the game. Oh no, I need to get up here. There we go. That'll work. Yeah. It it made the game into the the broken mess of villagers that it is now. 1.14, don't even remember what that update was. 1.13, I think that was the World of Color, maybe. O ocean Aquatic update. What what the hell was in the Ocean update? Was the Ocean update even good? It's, it's just... So many things with the update cycles that just are not interesting. It's They're not interesting enough. People were excited for 1.19 with the, with the Deep Dark. Because in their minds, it's like, oh man, we're, they're adding, whatchamacallit, they're, they're adding uh, a new boss. Like a lot of people said like, oh yeah, new boss in the warden. 
It's not a boss. It's not interesting to fight. It's not even an interesting mob. I guess you have to sneak around it a little bit, but you're not meant to fight it. So it's just better to avoid it. Why Why add an enemy that the goal is to avoid it? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. And there's no... Because you're meant to avoid it and you're not meant to fight it, you end up never fighting it. And, and so it doesn't drop anything interesting. So you're, you're actively discouraged from trying to play a style of game. If it dropped... Let's say that the Warden dropped the Warden's head instead of Skulk. That would at least be interesting. That would at least be something different. But they don't even add that. Minecraft in its current state, in my opinion, is extraordinarily mishandled. And I think that it could be... I think that this game could be 40 times better than what it is. But they they cater to a very specific style of game play. Which is what I believe to be extraordinarily young casual side of the game they don't they don't cater to they almost never cater to redstone they almost never cater to pvp they never cater to people who like to do jungle or not jungle uh, do dungeons and do all that or or even mob systems in a way they pretty much cater to hey this update and then like next update here's your archaeology update why what like you already know that the best item you're going to get from archaeology is probably an emerald or maybe an enchanted book in which nine out of ten times it'll be riptide it's just it i just think it's weird i think this game could definitely do with uh improved so if i could make an update for this game i would probably do the dungeon crawling update you have a game called minecraft dungeons why not add some of the mobs and some of the dungeons from minecraft dungeons i think they would be really cool additions and i think they would be really welcomed and make real rewards make give real actual reason to go to these dungeons not just, uh, yeah, you go to these dungeons, you fight a couple mobs, and uh, the rewards, uh, you get a couple pieces of enchanted iron armor, and you get uh, chain leggings. Adding stuff that, that's meant to be done more late game, so post, post diamond armor, I think to be a really positive thing. But, um, uh, they don't do it. And it's, uh, I, I just find it sad. Much like that wooden mansion. <laughs> Very sad. Um, yeah, this video, honestly, was probably really disappointing. This video had a bunch of nothing, because that woodland mansion was terrible. And I don't know where another one is. <laughs> I don't even think, I don't even think I could find another one if I tried. Because of, uh, because I'm pretty sure the map finds the closest one, so maybe I could get a cartographer at spawn and I could do another one. But I don't know. Th that Woodland Mansion just sort of illustrated my biggest problem with this game, which is the things that are in this game, especially, uh, Like, exploration and dungeon-wise is really disappointing. This game uh, could definitely have better, but they uh, they don't do it. They could uh, they could definitely improve, and that's that's one thing that I thought they were going to do. They have so much opportunity to to do that type of stuff, especially when they made a specific update that was designed with uh caving and exploring underground in mind but i guess they didn't see it that way so at this point i i guess i'm just gonna i mean i'm i'm looking for reads right now i have so many reads at home 
So it's just so painful for the fact that I'm far away from home and I just cannot find any reeds. It's pretty funny. I'm kind of just walking in the direction of home, just trying to see if I find any reeds in the way. And like, it sucks because I only need one. I need one reed. And I can get most of the way home. <laughs> Can't even do that. Can't even do that. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And uh, it's, a, it's a video that I want to make. The uh, how, like a video about why I believe the Minecraft update cycle is broken. There's some reads over there. Um, so that's a video that I'm feeling a lot of motivation to try and make now. So perhaps, uh, perhaps soon I'll, uh, I'll make a video like that. But I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, adios. See ya. Bye-bye.